Hello, future coffee masters. So far in your coffee journey, you've learned about the entire supply chain, from coffee cultivation to life on the farm and processing. We followed coffee through its journey at the roasting plant. Now you're going to take our high quality coffee and create amazing beverages. There are two components to a perfectly made latte. First is the espresso, that roasty, rich, caramely sweet shot of espresso. What really makes it a great latte is the milk. Silky smooth and steamed to perfection. The milk is often the unsung hero of the beverage. We're going to look at how milk becomes the ideal complement to a shot of espresso. Get out your microscope. We're going to get fairly scientific. There are three primary components to milk, all of which play a huge part in the taste and texture of your steamed milk. They are sugar, fat, and protein. We'll discuss sugar first. Ever wondered why steamed milk tastes slightly sweeter? Well, milk contains lactose, a sugar similar to sucrose, which is standard table sugar. Lactose is present in the milk, but it's not highly soluble. Solubility is the ability to dissolve into a liquid. Now, when we heat up the milk by steaming it, we're actually increasing the solubility of the lactose. As the milk's temperature increases, the taste is perceived as sweeter. I say perceived because the sugar is always there. It's just not fully dissolved in the liquid. In addition to the sweetness, there is the creamy, smooth texture. This is where the fat comes into play. Milk fat provides the overall body to the beverage. A higher fat value equates to a perceived fuller flavor and more richness. Finally, we have the proteins. The proteins in milk are what trap the air during aeration in tiny bubbles, what we call foam. Essentially, when air is introduced through the steam wand, the proteins are attracted to the space where air meets liquid, and they form a tight bond with each other, encapsulating the air, creating foam. One interesting fact here is that the proteins are much more active when the milk is colder. This is why we aerate or foam the milk first, in order to take advantage of the opportune time frame while the milk is between 40 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 to 38 degrees Celsius. This is also another reason why we should never steam milk more than once. The proteins have done their job after the first steaming so you can never recreate the great foam you develop from the first steaming. We've shared a little about the composition of milk and how it changes as we steam milk for a beverage. You know why we aerate first, how foam is developed, and why steamed milk tastes sweeter. Every time you steam milk, you have the opportunity to transform it, to create something incredible, just like the experience for each customer. As a coffee master, please share your knowledge and ensure the milk you steam is perfect every time.